everyone. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Great. Welcome to our Cambridge B1 preliminary preparation webinar. <laughs> Is everybody excited? I know I am. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to share my screen now. Here we go. Can everybody see that? <laughs> okay, so welcome to our B1 Preliminary for Schools webinar. I'm super excited to talk a little bit more and to tell you a bit more about this exam. So who's ready? <laughs> Fantastic. Let's start. Okay, our first question for today is, what do you know about the B1 preliminary for schools exam? Oh, come on, send me your messages. I would love to know what you understand. Let's see. Excellent. Oh, I've got a message. Yes, it helps you. Good to master the basics of the English language. Yes, that's what it says. Good job. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Good. And yes, <laughs> wonderful. It comes after the A2 key for schools. And then after that, it's B2 first. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Anyone else? <laughs> yes, it, it tests your practical language skills for everyday use. How important is that? Fantastic. Good job, everyone. Thank you for your comments. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to look at some of the words on the next slides. I'd like you to think, hmm, what they mean. Hmm, what do you think they are? Okay, let's take a look. The first word, say it with me, reading. <laughs> Writing. Great listening, and speaking. What do you think these words are? Hmm, what do they mean? Let's see. Hmm, <laughs> they are the different language skills. Yeah! Great job to everyone who knew that. Good. Now, I have set, set up a poll for you. I'd love you to answer this question. Which skills are tested in B1 preliminary for schools? Is it A, reading? listening and speaking? Is it B, reading, writing, listening and speaking? Or is it C, listening and speaking? Okay, let's take a look at our poll. Okay, please send me your answers, A, B, or C. I'm going to give you some time to do that. 
<laughs> oh, I can see the answers coming through. Good job. All of you have got it correct so far. Okay, 10 more seconds. Send me your answers. I'd love to hear. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding, 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 ding. And everyone has got it correct. Well done to those who said B. Yeah. Good job. High five. Well done. Okay. So we are tested on all the skills. Reading, mm -hmm. very important. Writing, mm -hmm. and the next skill is listening. Good. And speaking. Yay! <laughs> well done, everyone. Good job. All of these skills are tested on. Fantastic. But now we're going to look at some numbers. I'd like you to look at these slides. What do you think they are? Okay, so the first one is number four. Hmm, what could it be? Then it's number six. Then number two, hmm, two, and 25%. Okay. Oh, what do you think these numbers mean? Okay, let's take a closer look. Number four, hmm, hmm. Ooh, I think I know. Do you know the answer? Yeah, there are four papers in the B1 preliminary for schools exam. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> Good. Now you do. And it also means something else. Number four means that there are also four parts in the listening and the speaking. Mm hmm. Good job. Well done, everyone. You got it correct. Well done. The next number is number six. Hmm, what does this number mean? Let's take a closer look at this number. Number six. Ah, yeah, the number six. There are six parts in the reading section. Okay, so six parts. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Well done. Now for number two. What do you think the number two means? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, there are two parts in the writing section. Okay, good job to everyone who knew that. Well done. <laughs> and finally, what does this number mean? 25%? Let's take a closer look at that. Ding, 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 25. Yeah, each skill, reading, writing, listening, and speaking is worth, mm -hmm, you guessed it, 25%. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Well done, everybody. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Now, 
we're going to take a closer look at how we can prepare for the B1 preliminary exam. Hmm, perhaps you can tell me how you prepare for an exam. Come on, boys, girls, teachers, send me your answers. How would you prepare for the B1 preliminary exam? Good. Yes, goals. That's super important. Thank you. Fantastic answer. Make sure you know what you want. Ah, targets. Very important. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, well, let's take a closer look at how we prepare. The first step and the first thing that we should do is mm -hmm, create a study timetable and stick to it. That's super important. Here's mine. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Good. Great, thank you. Somebody's just said a good study plan. Yes, but you need to stick to it. <laughs> Another thing that you should do is set yourself some clear targets. Okay, here, dream, set some goals and then action. So you need to do it. <laughs> so set those goals and clear targets. Oh, this is my favorite part. Reward yourself for each target you achieve. Okay. <laughs> Here is the star. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> I was able to do it. Good. How I like to reward myself is I, mm -hmm. I get an ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> What rewards do you like? <laughs> okay, something else that is super important is to make sure you read English stories every day. Reading, mm -hmm. this will help you with all of your English skills. And practice as much as you can under exam-like conditions. Oh, exam-like conditions. Let's take a closer look at what that means. Hmm, what are exam-like conditions? Come on, send me your messages. I'd love to know what you think are exam-like conditions. <laughs> yes, it's quiet. Very good, quiet. Comfortable. Yes, you need to have a quiet and comfortable study room. Good job. You guessed it, right? Well done. <laughs> okay, now I'd like you to take a look at these pictures and tell me, do you think they are exam-like conditions. Let's take a look at the first picture. You can say yes or no. Mm -mm. Okay, so take a look at this picture. Do you think that this is an exam-like condition? Yes or no? Okay. It's Yes! Good job! Well done! Let's take another look and another picture. Let's see. Is this an exam-like condition? Oh, he looks so happy. Okay, let's take a look. Hmm, yes or no?
And the answer is yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Good job. Ooh, is this an exam like condition? Look closer at the picture. Where are they? Hmm. Is it quiet? Yes or no? Ding, 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 ding. It's no! <laughs> Is this an exam-like condition? Take a look at this picture. Where is she? What is she doing? Yes or no? Let's see, what could the answer be? No, no, it isn't. That doesn't look comfortable. <laughs> Is this an exam like condition? Take a look at the picture. Is it quiet? Is it comfortable? Yes or no? And the answer is yes, fantastic. <laughs> Good job, well done everyone. Another one, is this an exam-like condition? What is she doing? Take a closer look. Where is she? What is she doing? Hmm. Yes or no? And the answer is wah, wah, wah. no, this isn't an exam like condition. <laughs> Do you eat in, an, in the, an exam? No. Mm -mm. Is this an exam like condition? Oh, computer games? Oh, okay. Yes or no? And the answer is, yeah, you got it right, it's no, well done. Okay, oh, before we continue, hmm, have you subscribed to our channel? Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, <laughs> to our Facebook channel, to our Instagram, to our Twitter, and to our Pinterest. This will help you learn more about how you can prepare for your exams. Okay, don't forget, go and subscribe. Do it now. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, now. We're going to learn more about what exam-like conditions are. Okay, so our question is, what are exam-like conditions? Someone has said that it's a quiet, comfortable study room. And I have to agree. <laughs> it's quiet and it's comfortable. Good job. But there is also no distractions like a screen. Mm -mm. Oh, games. No, that's a distraction. Your phone. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> These are all distractions when you are preparing for an exam. Here are some alternative study methods. Okay, the first one is flashcards. We're going to learn how to make some flashcards. <laughs> Here's some examples. But how do we make flashcards? Well, I'm going to show you. <laughs> The 
The first type of flashcard I'm going to show you is a picture flashcard. Hmm, adding pictures to your cards will make them fun and memorable. Okay, so let's make a fun, memorable flashcard. This is how you do it. First, the materials that you're going to need. Okay, let's see. Okay, I've got it. A4 paper cardboard. <laughs> Some markers, pens, highlighters. Yeah. And scissors. But boys and girls, always ask your mom and dad for help when using scissors. Okay. This is what you're going to do. Here are, here are our instructions. Okay, we're going to make a list of our keywords, the important words that we need to remember. Okay, here, let's make a list. The first word I would like to remember is ball. Okay, so here, my keywords. And um, what other words? Oh, apple. Okay. And, oh, another one could be pear. <laughs> okay, so here are our keywords. The second thing that we need to do is we need to fold our paper into four pieces, just like this. Fold them. Okay. okay. Then we write only one word on each section of our cardboard. Okay. And then, okay, let's do it. First, I'm gonna cut it out into four. Okay, we're gonna write out our words. Mm -hmm. One word in large letters taking my marker and I'm going to write out the word apple. Here we go. It's nice and big. I can see it clearly. Ta -da! Okay. The next thing that we're going to need to do is, <laughs> okay, we're going to draw our picture. Now I get to draw an apple. This will help me remember the word. Okay, you can draw it above the word, you could draw it below the word, or you can draw it on the other side. So that's what I'm going to do, nice and big. Okay, here's my apple. Ta-da, my apple. <laughs> okay, great. That's how you make them. This is an example of an elephant flashcard. Can you see the word is nice and big and there is the animal. <laughs> okay, great example. We also can make definition flashcards. What does that mean? Well, adding a definition to your card will help you remember the words that you cannot Describe physically using a picture. Oh, oh, I know, like math. Can you describe that using a picture? No, no, but let's take a closer look at what we're going to need to do. Okay, so we're going to take one of our cards. We're gonna write the word nice and big, okay? okay there we go. <laughs> and then on the other side, you're going to write the definition. Oh, okay. The study of numbers. Just like that. There we go. And that will help me remember what this word means. Great. Just like this example. Science. Oh, we learn about human body, animals, and plants. In this lesson, we also do experiments. Yeah, that's a great example. 
I hope that you have lots of fun making your picture flashcards and your definition flashcards. <laughs> I'd also like you to try this alternative study method. Oh, this is so much fun. Mind maps. Do you know what a mind map is? Oh, let me show you. But first, this is what you're going to need. Okay, let me get it. <laughs> Here, your A4 cardboard, paper cardboard. You can have, you can use pens, you can use markers, you can use highlighters. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to think about the main concept. Oh, what does that mean? The main concept? Oh, for example, animals, weather, feelings, happy, sad, <laughs> adverbs, irregular verbs, whatever it may be. So you're going to write that. You're going to write that main concept in the middle of the card. Then start adding branches. Okay, so let's start. Oh, my main concept is going to be, hmm, oh, it's going to be feelings. There we go, feelings. And then we're going to add some branches. And how you add some branches is just like this. One branch, two branch, three branches. Yeah. And you're going to write those branches. So, hmm, feelings. Oh, a feeling is sadness. So sad. I'm feeling happy. So I'm going to write happy. How about angry? Okay. So, so you write down those branches. There we go. But please remember to keep the phrases short, just like I have one word that's very short, but you can write a short phrase. Okay, so that can be more than one word, but keep them short. <laughs> Good job, everyone. This is an example of a mind map. This is how we learn English. Oh, here are some branches, school, that's where we learn uh, online, fantastic. Okay, good, and we can study, good. In the speaking part three, we can take a look. Oh, here is a, another mind map. We discuss alternatives, make suggestions, respond to suggestions, and we negotiate and, and make agreements, okay. <laughs> so these are some things that we do in the speaking part three. How exciting. Here's another method. Make a checklist. Okay, so we've done flashcards. We've done our mind map. And now we're going to make a checklist. This is my favorite. Okay, making a checklist will help you remember the most important things you need to do when you study or answer exam questions. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to take here, here's my study timetable. <laughs> and I'm going to make my checklist. We have two kinds of checklists. The first one is a daily checklist. Okay, so we go, what does that mean? A daily checklist? Oh, it can be used for the tasks you need to complete in a day. Oh, that's so, so great. So here on my timetable, I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I have all the days of the week here and I can make my checklist per day. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
you must write them in order of importance. First things on the list is the most important task. Okay, so don't forget, write them in order. One, two, three. The next kind of checklist is a situational checklist. What is that? These checklists can be used to remember the strategies, tips used when you answer exam type questions. How to answer reading questions. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is our checklist. Okay, so the first thing is, remember, it's the most important. Read the questions first, then the next part is underline the keywords and then look for the synonyms. Do you know what a synonym is? Hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> so that's our checklist. That's what we need to do. Okay, another thing that we can do. So it's flashcards. It is our mind map. It is our situational and daily checklist. And the next thing is to keep a notebook. Oh, here's mine. <laughs> I have a notebook and I use it every day. But what are notebooks used for? Come on, boys, girls, teachers, send me. Your answers. What are notebooks for? <laughs> I'd love to hear. <laughs> Someone has just mentioned to remember important tasks you need to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fantastic, you can use that as your checklist too. <laughs> Very good. Okay, I, I sometimes use mine as a diary. I write in it every day. <laughs> Fantastic, good job, thanks. Good, yes, another answer has come through. Important words to learn. Ah, oh, that's a good point. Helps us remember those words. So. As you've just said, it can be a dictionary. We can use our notebooks as a dictionary. Good. Notebooks can be used as dictionaries. You can write the new words you learn every day. <laughs> Great. Okay. You can write those words, but you can also write the definitions. So what they mean. Like I said, diaries. Yeah. Notebooks can be used as diaries. You can write about your day, your feelings and opinions in your notebook. You can also write short stories and poems. <laughs> but one last thing to remember. Let's go see, what do we need to remember? <laughs> oh, this is so important. Take a break oh, every 40 minutes. Okay, super important. How do you take a break? <laughs> Good, you go and eat something <laughs> and drink some water. <laughs> Good, listen to music, yeah. <laughs> I love to listen to music, that's a great break. Okay, we need to take it easy. <laughs> but don't forget, we need to focus, okay, for that exam and to prepare for it. It will help you to concentrate more if you take a break. <laughs> Great, yes, you can do it. I know you can. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Yeah, well done, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Does anyone have any questions that they would like to ask about 
the B1 preliminary for schools webinar so far. <laughs> I would love to hear. <laughs> oh, oh, how to, yes, okay, I've seen something come through, questions, let me just get it. <laughs> no questions, everything was clear. <laughs> well, that's great, yay! <laughs> well, if you do not have any questions, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, everyone. It has been wonderful spending this time with you. Please do not forget to subscribe to all of our channels. <laughs> YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. This will give you more content on how to prepare for those exams. All right. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to see you today. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.